first thing I'm excited to say <laughs> oh. is back on our screens in Avoidance, a very funny comedy show. It's Fridays, BBC One, 9.30. Of course, you can catch up on iPlayer as well. Uh, this is you uh, playing opposite Wamesh Rangan Nathan, who I guess you're, you've known for a while. You're friends oh, in real life, yeah. I think. We've been friends for about 15 years, but this is... It's, it's the second series of his show that he wrote, and it's all about sort of a man going through a divorce from his partner, Jess Nappett. And then in comes my character in series two. And sparks fly. Sparks fly, perhaps, <laughs> sure. <laughs> in which way? Um, but, yeah, so sparks fly between us. And so you've got your arm in a sling there. Is that part of the storyline? Uh, no, it wasn't. It was because I actually did the whole show on loads of drugs. Um, <laughs> let me explain. Uh, <laughs> I, I, was, I was supposed to have keyhole surgery on my shoulder from an accident two days beforehand, but when they went in, they found out that my arm was hanging off. <laughs> uh, they w had to go in and totally reconstruct my shoulder while I was asleep. How had you done it? How had you injured yourself? I got knocked down off my bike during the pandemic. I wasn't really paying attention. Wear a helmet, kids. Always pay attention where you're going to. Don't listen to podcasts while you're cycling. Traffic lights are there for a reason. Um, <laughs> and, but I actually got knocked down on the way to the hospital, so it was kind of like, well, one in a row. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, and then uh, the BAFTAs were over Zoom that day, and I was nominated, but I won also on drugs that day in my garden with, like, I was like, I'm lucky to be alive for the day! <laughs> <laughs> <I'm lucky to be." laughs> were you still on painkillers when you were filming? Oh, like, m out of my head on wow. painkillers. <laughs> like, I remember, I think the job was really lovely, but I was like, I'm walking in the air. <laughs> so I remember it as just one long day. Um, I had a great time. <laughs> but we had to make my sling as part of the character. Like, oh, the character's got a sling. Um, but I really couldn't move very much and was very high. Um, well, you know what? You pull it off magnificently. This is a little clip for you. As I said, it's on Friday nights, BBC One, 9.30. It's very funny. This is Avoid. That's Avoidance. Friday nights, BBC One, 9.30. And on our player. You can see you two have a real kind of like very relaxed relationship there. You're performing well together. But of course, you have to do scenes because without giving too much away, the characters sparks fly and the characters kind of get together. Mm. So you had to perform scenes with Womash, which mm. were, you know, like boyfriend girlfriend scenes. Yeah. And you've known him for a while. Does that make it easier or harder? Oh, totally harder. Totally harder. Because like you get used to doing love making scenes. Sorry to get everyone with a giant horn, as soon as I mention that. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies, Great Britain. Um, but, uh, but it's rare that rather than me with another actor pal, you're with a friend friend and yeah. a stand-up friend. Yeah. And the two of us had one scene where we had to kiss and without giving too much away, we had to kiss for the first time for as long until Jessica Nappett, who's an amazing actress, came in the back and then we'd split our heads apart and Jess would be there. But it just took longer for her to open the door than we thought, and so I was like, okay, well, how are you, Ramesh? How are you? <laughs> <laughs> and, just, and I just had that, I, I knew I was doing bad kissing. Like, you know when you know when you're in there. Yeah. And I, I sort of want to be like, it's not knowing me how we do it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, when, when they finally called cut, I was kind of like, you're not going to tell Josh Whittacombe and James Acaster and all the lads that I'm bad at kissing, are you? Like, <laughs> Don't tell all the lads. <laughs>